Hey guys, this is Pharaoh 2091 and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. Last time left off, we defeated Vanitas over at Radiant Garden. For the time being, he says he's, he's gonna get us back, so we gotta watch out for him. And we also uh, participated in a fruit bowl tournament in Disney Town and we got the Million Dreams Award. Well, all of us did, Terra, Ven, and Aqua, but Aqua's the only one there to uh, get it. So now uh, I'm pretty much going to be going back into Disney Town to get all the stuff I missed. So, yeah, it's just that obligatory episode where, you know, I just got to pick up everything. There's really going to be no progress in a sense in terms of, um, in terms of, like, you know, story. But, uh, you know, there's stuff to pick up here. Chests, stickers, God knows what else, but, uh, you know... I gotta do it. I mean, I just want to do it. How about that? For the sake of you guys, in case you guys are wondering where the hell to pick up everything, uh, there is a mini sticker in here, but um, it's gonna be a little bit hard to get at the moment, so we're gonna go ahead and get that later. I just want to go towards Manhole right now because I kind of want to get that area out of the way because we all know it's down there. It's a good old pinball machine. Hate that thing. Even this is gonna be my third time pretty much going through it with a different character. It's still gonna be insane for me. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Damn it. <clears throat> I know I felt better today to record, but then again, as soon as I start recording, I start coughing. That's just great. Maybe because I'm actually talking. I mean, if I'm not recording, I'm just simply, I don't know, watching videos or uh, whatever else, really. Uh, oh, and the thing is too, like, I'm starting to realize just how much that, uh, what's her name, Aqua cannot deal that much damage. I'm actually using, um, that fairy Destin Keyblade or something like that, I forgot the hell exactly what it was called. I'm using that, and actually, uh, between, um, well, before I started this recording, last night, I actually was editing, as, uh, editing videos. And, uh, I'm like, well, I really have nothing else to do. I really can't, because, I mean, I'm sure many of you guys are out there, because, um, when, whenever you guys edit videos, my, you know, it takes a lot of, you know, processing power to do so, at least for me it does. And, um, what the hell was I going to say? And I really can't use the computer for anything else, because, it, like, it goes pretty freaking slow. So I'm like, what the hell can I do? So I'm like, you know, why don't I, uh catch up on some, you know, command boards, and that's kind of what I did, and I actually won, because we have four of them at the moment, and out of the four, I won three boards. Didn't really get the best abilities here now, like, I didn't get Ragnarok from the, the Land Departure board or whatever, but, um, I still got some other, you know, decent, uh, commands and shotlock commands, so, it's there, and, uh, yeah, whatever. It, it, was, it was a nice distraction. Helped me level up some... Some, uh... Stuff for me, but... Uh, whatever. It, it was there. I had... I mean... This, I guess what I... Oh, shoot. I do have Cure on me, do There we go. It's just the whole reason why I don't like the command boards is... They just take too long for me. I mean, you know, like 14 or 15 rounds, but sometimes they just go by so damn slow. And uh, this is where I'm gonna need a lot of thunder. Uh, okay, I gotta remember that. Like when I come here, I'm gonna need a lot of thunder. So, if I do got a lot of thunder on me, and just gotta replace a lot of stuff. There. So I have three thunders and a thundara. So if this doesn't work, then well, geez. Come on, load up. There you go. Thunder, Thundara, Thunder. One more. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I'm right there. Oh. Thunder. No. Thunder. Thundara. Thunder. Oh, okay, never mind. I got the Thunderbolt command. That makes things a lot easier. Oh. Uh, now I gotta remember to replace some stuff. Actually, do those thunders need to get leveled up? 
Uh, well, this one doesn't, so let's put on this. Yeah, a lot of these commands, I don't even know if it'll be, well, good for, what's her name? Wait a minute, is it she? Uh-huh. Wait a minute, hold on a minute, guys. I'm reading something here, and it seems, something seems odd. Mm-hmm. Oh, never mind. Okay. Just thought I read something wrong there. Um, damn, what the hell is it gonna say? I don't even know anymore. Just let me grab this. I, I hate losing my train of thought anytime I'm recording, obviously. And uh, it sucks. You know, it's like you you think you're on a track with something. You're you're about to get in a good discussion, and all of a sudden, uh, pretty much goes out the window. Well, actually, an interesting thing I saw today is um, well, not really interesting. I'm kind of sad, but. Well, no, the, the the video I saw of it was interesting. Um, I'm sure many of you heard about that awful shooting at the Navy Yard not too long ago. Um, damn. And uh, for some odd reason, some, you know, news outlets are blaming, once again, video games for it. And it's... Yeah, I, I don't understand. I don't get it anymore. I mean... The correlation between, you know, video game violence and then, you know, shooting people, I just, I don't see it being too prevalent from what, well, from, from what I believe anyway. But they're, they're saying like, you know, well, violence in the games causes violence, aggression in people. Well, that I kind of, that, what's well, kind of a known fact, you know, when you're playing a game, you get, you lose or something, you're like, oh, damn it, you know? Yeah, aggression's gonna come out, but to the point where you're gonna go ahead and shoot somebody? I don't know about that. Actually, what the hell am I trying to do? Uh... Oh, crap. I don't know what the hell I'm trying to get here. Hold on. Do I have a, um... I keep wondering, do I have, like, anything I can dash with? No, I don't. So I don't think I'm even gonna, I'm gonna even even going to be able to get all the treasure chests in here just yet. That's what I don't like about Aqua. She doesn't seem to have like any dashing or gliding just yet. And she's like one of the only people that doesn't even come equipped with uh, like sliding dash or easily get it unless I could buy it and just totally missed out on it because that would uh, help me like no other right now. That's gonna push me off, isn't it? Uh -huh. Okay, now I just wanna know where the hell I am in my notes if I pick this up. This is a hungry crystal. Um Let's see here. Uh-huh. Okay, I am missing like two charge chests down there, but the thing is, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get it right now. Uh one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and there's gonna be five uh, treasure chests in here. This is where things are gonna probably get a little bit bad, simply because this is where the uh, pinball machine resides in. And we all know. Oh, hey, Benji. Where the hell did you come from? Oh, you barking. Once again, it is Creed. He was sleeping all, like, just wonderfully being a good boy, and now he's just like, give me that treat. Urgh. Benji, I know you can. You're just being a baby right now. I mean, he is, he is only one, so. I guess. Uh, well, I wouldn't say he's still a puppy, but I guess. Well, I don't know. I don't know how the hell you want to classify it. To me, it's like once you stop, you know. After a, a little after a, a year, you're no longer a puppy and you're a dog. And that's what I view him as, but he still gets. He's a whiny little guy. I don't know where the hell he picked up that from. I mean, my other dog uh, um, isn't really... No, he doesn't whine at all, actually. Huh. This guy kind of lucky there. Ah, ow, ow, ow. Benji, Benji, go down and get it. Oh, jeez. 
I so I'm sorry if you keep hearing that. I'm probably gonna be have to edit some of this uh, audio spikes as he's causing right here. But uh, as we know in the pinball machine, there's gonna be quite a few of Benji. There's gonna be quite a few treasure chests we're gonna have to grab here, including the ones we have to we have to open with the four. Um, well, four of those. So I got th well, I got three right there. Oh, okay, there's two treasure chests right there. Benji. Benji. I do that noise so he can um, yeah. There you go. That's my oh shoot. There's another treasure chest there. That's my uh, go-to um noise. I, I don't like using it for him because like. I wouldn't say he goes crazy after it, but it's like, he's like, he gets like, well, what the hell's that, you know? And uh, I just use it so it's like, just please be quiet. And holy crap, I think I actually uh, did everything there. So that was uh, four try chests so far, and then I'm going to be getting, oh, now he's, now he's just barking in another room. Um, I guess that helps a little bit. Actually, I don't want to go in here yet, just yet, because I opened the thing down here to get, uh, this is probably going to be break time. It is break time. Okay. Um, uh, I somehow, uh, damn, I was going to say, I had some great success, uh, with this pinball machine, because I was able to, like, quickly get all the treasure chests. However, getting back up to, um, getting back up to the exit is going to be, a uh, different story oh oh my god we did it with well, that wasn't even that hard I can't believe it uh, and it, there doesn't seem to be a treasure chest down there or back there so that's oh actually there's one right here oops can't believe I missed that one uh, slat edge good and uh, what else is here oh crap so is this southwest? Okay. Is there... Where the hell is that sticker at? There's a sticker... Here? Crap, I don't see it. Or is it more like... It's not really southwest! Ah, uh, okay. That's like more southeast. But I just... Wanted to make sure if I can spot it. Um... Hmm... I, oh, wait, I do see it right there. Okay. Hmm. So, that one is... That one's gonna require a little bit of luck to get. Just gotta grab it and, um... Pray for the best. Pray for the best. There we go. And there's gonna be two more chests in this world, and that'll be it. Well, actually, I forgot. There are those two chests I, I have to grab still in the manhole cover. But without, like, glide especially, then I, I'm gonna withhold from getting it right now because it just seems kind of difficult to do so. But I will be getting two chests in here. Uh, come on, get out of there. Get, God, I think I was spinning it the wrong way. Get, come on! Okay, Fyra and... What else is here? And... Okay, that. Don't, don't know exactly where the hell I'll find it. somewhere in this area, so... I'm just gonna be fighting, and, uh... I'm just gonna be fighting, and... Well, yeah, taking names, I guess. But actually, going back to my discussion about, like, the whole... Video game... Causing mass shootings... I mean, obviously... You know, video games will incite... Ingression on people, but I always say that the people who... Already cause, or do these mass... Uh, shootings, mass murders, they already have something wrong with them as is. And I, I mean, I wouldn't, I don't know if you want to say that video games push them over the edge, but there, there's other contributing factors than just, oh, video games did it. What people seem to really, seem to forget is like, oh yeah, video games are bad, you know, for children, blah, blah, blah. Of course some games are going to be bad for children because some children shouldn't be playing these games. I mean, I just saw this actually yesterday. Uh, as I'm recording this, uh, Grand Theft Auto 5 just came out yesterday, actually, 
and um, I saw a video of some like 10 year old kid crying because his parents got him GTA 5 and he was like hugging the damn game and kissing it and, and just like wailing and it's like when you act like that it's like oh god do you want to you know should a kid like that even play a game like that and he shouldn't I've heard some I mean I haven't like really heard exactly what happens in the game but uh, I've heard some people say they play like the first like mission or two and there was stuff in there that made them go like oh geez you know and it's like there were these are older people you know like older you know married with kids probably you know just want to relax and play games and they're saying like oh man this is pretty damn bad you know and and like they have the mindset to realize like okay I, I can all right I can kind of handle this but at the same time whoa now imagine that going with a ten-year-old kid. That just, I don't, I don't, I don't know. And that's to say the parents who forego the warnings of like the M-rated, um, the M-rated games and uh, and still buy it for their kids. I'm not saying they're bad parents, because when I was growing up, I, um, you know, I, I got games that were, uh, you know, that M-rated. I mean, I got GTA 5 or GTA 3 when. You know, I was like a teenager or something like that. And, well, yeah, I mean, I experienced all there was in that game, and I was young. But I had the mind, I, I, I knew myself, my parents knew me, that I wouldn't go out and do anything stupid like that. You know, I realized it was just a damn game. But, I guess, I guess it'll be a little, I don't know if you want to say it's a little bit different now, because back then, games weren't... I guess visualized to be lifelike in a sense. I mean, GTA 3 kind of really did. Like, wow, that's new. You know, it's actually you know 3D and whatnot, and and um, and it's like you know you're doing all those killings, whatever. But you know, it looks cartoonish now when you compare it to like, oh, say GTA 5. So when little kids have access to something that lifelike. That, I guess that kind of does worry me. It's like, well, maybe, yeah, they shouldn't be playing those games, but... I don't know. I'm j maybe I'm just spouting nonsense. I gotta check what the hell my dog's doing, but... And actually, I got my little head in this video here anyway, but uh, before I do that, let me just, um... Go ahead and add some of the stickers I got, like Daisy. Uh, let's see, this is gonna be 56, right? So... No, she doesn't gotta be there. She's probably gonna be near the castle. Nope. Nope. No. No. Hmm. Okay, so right there. So yeah, sometimes like some logical reasoning comes in here. Um. About what to what to do. Did I only just pick up that one sticker? Was that all there? What is he doing? What else? Is oh yeah, the other sticker I can't even grab right now. Okay, well in any case, guys. Um. I didn't even know the hell he was, I was even talking about in this episode. Actually, Disney Town wasn't, wasn't, didn't even give me that that much trouble. I know I missed out those two charge shots, but I'll be getting that later when I actually can dash there or glide. But, let's see, do level 5 and level 6. Okay, so that means in the next, uh, next episode, we're going to be going off to the Olympus Coliseum. So, as usual, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. I'll see you guys later.